76% of the Indian handloom industry was affected by the disastrous COVID-19 pandemic. A falling economy, unemployment, reduced spending and subsequent lockdowns have had a detrimental impact on this industry. 63.4% of the artisans were affected due to the economic downfall during the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the initial estimate of Export Promotion Council for Handicrafts, the handicraft sector suffered a loss of $1.1 to $1.3 billion because of the pandemic. This had a disastrous impact on the lives and the livelihoods of Indian artisans and artists. Now that's where Zaisha comes in. Zaisha is a youth-led business which provides an online platform in the form of a website to support underprivileged and unrecognized Indian artists and artisans by showcasing their handicrafts on a website where consumers can buy them. This helps these artisans cope from the devastating losses they have incurred due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Zaisha aims to bridge the disconnections of local Indian artists and artisans from technological resources and tools to commercialize their talents. Our mission and vision is to support such artists and artisans from all over India while promoting India's rich cultural diversity through unique handicrafts in a sustainable manner. Zaisha provides centralized services on behalf of the artisans so that they don't have to do any additional work. Our centralized services include branding and marketing of the artisans and their handicrafts, handling the shipping logistics, packaging, creating a marketplace for the artisans through our website, which gives them and their talents greater visibility. Furthermore, Zaisha eliminates the middlemen who usually exploit these artists and artisans by charging a commission. The Indian handicraft industry is a $100 billion industry worldwide. The handicraft industry has been the backbone of India's rural economy for decades. It has emerged as an essential economic agent, revolutionizing the lives of millions of people across the country. India's rich cultural diversity and heritage provide a unique and huge resource for developing craft products. This industry provides huge employment opportunities to artisans that include women and people who are underprivileged and unrecognized. Saisha's target market. From our primary research question about age, we deduced that our target market lies between the age group of 28 to 36 and 36 plus. Initially, we plan on only selling the handicrafts all over India. Therefore, based on our primary and secondary research, our target market are residents of India whose age lies between the age group of 25 to 44. We plan on using the cost plus pricing strategy. A profit markup of 35% will be added to handicrafts priced between $1 to $200 and a profit markup of 30% on handicrafts priced above $200. These profits will be reinvested back into Zaisha and will ensure that all operational costs are covered. Zaisha's operations First, we connect with the artists and artisans with the help of the student volunteers that we plan on having from all over India. Next, we list the handicrafts of these artists and artisans on our website. The images of the handicrafts would be shared by the student volunteers and we would add a profit markup. Then we purchase the handicrafts bought by the consumers from our website and we make the payment to the artisans via net banking or UPI payment method post which we deliver the handicrafts from the artisans to the consumers directly. The delivery personnel checks the handicrafts to ensure that they're not damaged. Then, they carefully pack the handicrafts using sustainable items like honeycomb cushioning wrap. In the end, this entire process will help us achieve our ultimate goal, improving the livelihood of Indian artists and artisans while also satisfying the consumers of these handicrafts. This was Zaisha's business to consumer operations plan. Moving on to Zaisha's business to business operations plan. As a part of the MNC's corporate social responsibility initiatives, by setting up small stands in their offices in India to encourage the employees of these corporate firms to purchase Zaisha's handicrafts and support India's local artists and artisans. During Indian festivals, these offices would purchase the handicrafts from Zaisha and give them to its employees for a more personalized and festive gift. Our project aims to make diverse Indian handicrafts and lesser-known artistry all available for discovery in one place. This question tells us that customers would buy from Zasha, which therefore proves that this would be successful. This is Zasha's six parts framework. This allowed us to consider factors within and beyond the confines of the handicrafts industry. Moving on to Zasha's real-time operations. So far, we have developed the prototype of Zasha's website. Furthermore, we have partnered up with five artists and artisans from various Indian cities, including Manipur and Telangana. We have already conducted a test run to test the feasibility of for delivery, communications, and packaging processes in terms of the cost efficiency. We achieved this by ordering black pottery handicrafts from a local artisan, Mr. Tangwa, from the village Longpi in Manipur. We ordered 10 black pottery handicrafts and the total cost was around $60. Zaisha and Mr. Tangwa signed a vendor agreement to ensure that the rights of both Mr. Tangwa and Zaisha were safeguarded. The handicrafts reached us through postal service and the total delivery cost was approximately $26. Our test run proved to be successful. The launch date for Zaisha's website is 1st March 2022. It's time to amplify our voices and be vocal for local. This is Zasha.